What is up friends? We're gonna hit you with a quick video today. This is for all of you who are starting out and are a little bit confused as to how to make your own deck. So basically what I've done here is just come into one of these starter decks, made a copy of it, strength in numbers, and then I've gone ahead and I have done this really clever thing called searching for Phyrexia. <laughs> I actually don't even finish the word because I don't want it to... Oh, whoops, I can spell Phyrex. Like this, and then I just look for all the Phyrexians that applied. I got Charge of Mites, um, and then I got a really cool card called Sunfall, um, and Venerated Rob Priest, some other stuff. I wanted to try some poisons, but I got Paladin of Predation, which does Toxic 6. They can't be blocked with creatures with power two or less. So uh, I was like, oh, I want to try that guy out. And I've had two people just surrender before this, that procs. So I guess it's a win. So, but anyway, this is a good way to just kind of create your first little deck, mix things up a little bit uh, and play around. So let's go ahead and take this deck in. We're just going to take it into a standard match because it is a standard deck. Standard decks are the most restricted second most restricted are alchemy and then you can do historicals that are just basically everything so we're just going to jump in here and uh and do this one uh but we want to do standard play for axing citizens so if you make a standard deck you want to play in standard because there are cards in alchemy that are allowed that aren't allowed in standard so this gives you the best chance of winning so let's go ahead i forget you can do like best of three. Oh, brutal anyway all right Let's go! Alrighty. I like clicking that, why, why it's on the load screen. Um, what do you guys think about these Magic the Gathering videos? Is this content you want to see more of, less of, same of? Uh, should we go every other with Marvel Snap? More Marvel Snaps because they're shorter. This, is, this channel is really up to user input. Because, you know, if we're being honest with each other, the number of you that consistently watch it has gone down. So you have an outsized say. <laughs> Alright, so Gathering Throng is pretty good. Uh, one thing I've learned with Gathering Throng, you don't have to put all of them in your hand. So if it's going to force you to discard, don't take all of them. Just take one, and then play that one, and then take the other one. You know, so you can, because they all have the same ability. You're not going to, not going to lose anything here. Ooh, I like this Throng. Go, buddy. Oh, look at this. There's this cutie. Look at that. Oh. All right. So everything here is lights, um, but we will go for civil servant. So let's just go for farmland. Now, if you get these ones since they enter tapped, just go ahead and play those first, unless you can play something right away. I can't. So that's cool. I want that one. Um, I can play now, so I do want to play forest, and then I'm gonna go for. Civil Servant, so he can attack, and we can play Gathering Throng next turn. Then Darling of the Masses. Alright, so we can play Predation Steward now. So let's go for Blossoming Sands, since we have a card we can play now. And we'll just attack with Civil Servant. Can't tap any other uh, citizens, but normally if you can tap a citizen, he'll get lifelink, which is why I like to start with him pretty early. Inquiry of Dominus. If you would proliferate, proliferate twice instead. Remove three counters from among other artifacts, creatures, and planes where you control. Put an indestructible counter on Tekathal Inquiry Dominus. Cool. That's going to be fun. Um... Let's go for Darling of the Masses. Uh, she gives him an extra attack, but we're not going to use it. Um, but we can do it to him after. Uh, we can only activate Predation Sword as Sorcery, so it's good to keep in mind. We can also drop in Swooping Protector to deflect the damage. That's 
cool. I like that. Rattacular. Go for Citizen Crowbar. And then... Gathering Strong. I want to grab both since I can fit them and I don't want to draw into them. So it's a good way to kind of flex that a little bit. Uh, they can line these up and kill them together since they do five damage together. Well, there are no attacks. Ugh, it's just kind of rough. Just a little bit stuck. I think this guy bought these cards. It's good. I like it. A good move. I'll do you one better. Oh, do we not have enough? He's not an artifact, is he? No. Now it's not the kill Tekathal, so plus it's five life. I probably would have. I mean, Tekathal is good, but I probably sacrificed the hummingbird. Fairy vandals only causes problems. So. We do have some. Whatever those exiles, but <laughs> my braid is nice. Okay, let's tap this. Um, and then we'll send a citizen's crowbar on to her. You can kill him now. So that's a bit rough. Goes down to six though, so let's do this and then we can. Does it have to be. No. Can you target the artifact underneath a unit? He can dispatch this one. We'll save her. Oh, 
Oh shoot, I spent to do that. That sucks. Oh well. I didn't mean to do that differently, but... Shit happens. That's... He can't stop this onslaught. Stop! <clears throat> Proliferated, nice. He doubles it. Good, man. Block my stuff, so. Yeah. Alright, there you go. Big W. Even when the other person has better cards, you can still pull out a win with this deck because you can just play so many cards on the field. There's also a really fun card in here that I got called Sunfall. So if for some reason they start they start running away with the points and you feel like, oh, there's nothing I can do here. They're just gonna drown me. Um, what you can do is come in here and play this card. Like I had this happen against a couple of red decks. Um, Sunfall. So this one will exile all of the creatures on the on the field on, that are out in play, and then it'll create an incubated token. So it'll be a Phyrexian that'll come out at XX number of creatures. So if there's like nine, it'll be nine nine. So quite nice. Uh, and you can usually transform that right away if you've gotten far enough into the game that you have seven total mana. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think about this deck in the comments down below. Till next time, good luck out there. Have a good one.